Hey guys, Bozzy here, and I'm here with a mod tutorial for both Mac and Windows. I am currently on a Mac at the moment, however, Windows it's applicable to as well, seeing as the patcher is universal. Now, as you can see here, the Minecraft patcher I have before me was used in the texture pack tutorial, which I released a week, a week or two back. However, if you don't want to go through the troubles of um, getting it through that, I'll just uh, put a link to the description so you can get up to speed easily. Now, uh, first things first, I'm going to show you the normal Minecraft. Well, it's the normal Minecraft, but with an HD texture pack fix. But other than that, and I will, I will, I will censor the um, IP address, seeing as it is a private server. Sorry. But yes, I'm just going to go outside to show you um, the texture pack at work. As you can see, it's very nice. It's one of my, it's, it is one of my favourite packs. I mean, I know previously I said uh, Minecraft for Kids was my favourite pack. That's 64x64, uh, 64 64, so it asks for a bit more processing power. And um, here is a 32x32 32 32 pack called uh, Doku Craft. And yes, I will also leave this in the description. Don't you worry. Um, as you see, this is the texture pack at work. And this is a better grass mod at work. Did I say mod? Yes, yes I did. I think you might um, see where I'm going with this. Now I'm going to log out and I'll um, show you. As you can see, it has got HD textures, HD font, and better grass. Now, better grass is in fact a mod, which um, will sort of keep, yeah, like I said before, it will give you a hint as to what um, I'm insinuating. Now, before, um, the way you'd mod the system would be you go into bin, you um, open up Minecraft, I don't know what's happening here, no. you open up Minecraft, you open it with an archive utility, and then you shove everything in there, and then you zip it up, it's gone. put that there, delete this, and uh, the reason, the reason I'm going so fast is because there is a much, much easier way of doing this. And I'm really glad that I found it actually. It means I don't have to unzip and rezip everything uh, every single time I want to put a mod in. And it's actually thanks to Dan, the other half of HK and Bozzy. So I'm going to show you that right now. So this little plus button here, you click. And you go to, um, well, there's a little extra thing that you can do, um, which is you can open it up in a separate window, and then you can drag this folder to this folder, and um, you'll be immediately there. However, I think this is only for Mac. I'm not too sure if Windows can do the same. But other than that, it is just a standard. Um, I mean, I can just go through there. Mods done. Now, as you can see, Mod Loader is one of the two mods that I'll be showing you how to install today and um, mod loader is one of the things that you want to definitely definitely add it helps with a lot of mods you'll see a lot of mods on the forums which I've also <laughs> put in the description a lot of the mods ask uh, for you to put mod loader into their um, into Minecraft before uh, installing their own mod and that's because it sort of works what as the name suggests it loads mods it sort of um, it's, behind, it's sort of behind the scenes, it's a bit um, of administration, so it makes, sure, um, it makes sure mods don't clash with other mods, etc. And um, yeah, it, it pretty much makes everything simpler on the Minecraft side of things. I mean, for you, it won't really make a difference. But, unless you're a modding, so it will make a difference. But as you can see here, it's got class, 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 class. And if you saw quickly, while I was showing you the old fashioned way, of adding mods is that that folder was filled, filled with class uh, files. And what class fit the files are, they're pretty much um, instructions to Minecraft on uh, what to do with textures and actions, uh, where to put this, where to put that, um, if you put this in, what happens to that. And uh, mods, they're effectively either adding classes or um, modifying classes to. Um, basically give you a new experience for it to um, incorporate with the mod. So I'm just going to add a mod loader here. It says faster insert and it shows you all the classes you're going to add. Um, the amount of classes that um, are added, the, the list 
you don't really need to look into it. I mean, unless it explicitly says in the mod thing that um, you need to remove a certain part um, of it if you're running a different mod, like for example, uh, you have to remove KR class, you'd click that. Um, and that's just to prevent clashing um, with mods. I mean, I know I said mod loader prevents that, but sometimes it can't be avoided. It depends how um, someone mods it. But yes, I'm just going to press OK here, and mod loaders added here. But that's not all. That's not all. We're going to add another one. Zan's minimap. So yes, you can add uh, more than one mod at the same time. Now, Zan's minimap is one of those mods that requires mod loader. So, it's very fortunate that I have it on hand with me. Ooh. Uh, as you can see, uh, before it lets you add it, it shows you sort of a, um, a collapse of the folders inside. Now, um, there will be a net, uh, a net folder inside Minecraft itself. So, um, as long as that doesn't got something in Laram, uh, it won't obstruct any other files, it will just add the files. So you'll be fine. So I press OK here, and oh, is that it? Fair enough. Press OK here. Three. Hmm. I think this is because I removed the Zan's mini map, um, just so I could start off fresh and show you how it works. But usually, it's got about twelve files. Um, however, they don't clash with Mod Loader. If it did clash, it would give you a um, a pop up window, and it would explain um, BZ dot class. Is um, obstructing with mod loader. Are you sure you want to continue? And you press no and just remove it, or um, don't patch it and just read up in the forums to see if you should remove it or something like that. Usually it doesn't clash. I mean, it's only happened to me once or twice. But um, I'm waffling, but I'm giving you a little backstory. I'm explaining it lovingly. Ooh, that's a bit awkward. But um, yes, mod loader, Zan's minimap, and you, you just click patch. It's as simple as um, how you installed the HD Text Pack fix. Now, I rather foolishly um, kept Minecraft open, so if I was to do anything on that now, I would crash it. So I'm just going to quit it. However, it is patched, don't you worry. It's just if you try to reopen it, it does cause some. Well, it, if you try to use it without reopening it, it does cause some problems. Now, it's going to get in. So, and yes, I am going to, I am going to censor this um, IP address again. And as you can see here, Zan's mod. Welcome to Zan's minimap. There are a number of features and commands available to you. Press Z, zoom out. Blah 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 blah. So I'm just going to hide that and get rid of this. Come on, go away. There we go. But as you can see, I have a minimap at the top now. And I find it incredibly useful. Now, I'm, I'll give a brief summary of what uh, Zan's minimap is. It is effectively, um, it works as a compass, and it helps you um, secure landmarks um, and sort of um, make waypoints. As you can see, I've got the beach house, the Nether Portal, Honeycomb Station, which is where I'm at, Dockside Hub, and Eventine Bridge, which I'll show in another video, probably in the server update. But yeah, that's the uh, gist of uh, mod like, of um, adding mods and just giving you a sneak peek. Oh, it's raining. A sneak peek of uh, what Zan's minimap does, and that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that is pretty much it. Um, and a few things is that um, I will leave a link in the. Is it dark here? Yeah? No. Um, I will leave a link in the description to everything that I've just talked about, which includes the patcher, um, the stop raining, uh, the patcher, the texture pack, and uh, mod loader, and Zan's minimap. And uh, there are a ton of mods that you can put onto Minecraft, and that gives you a lot of fun to have past the normal Minecraft. Um, a few mods, in fact, such as the pistons and the hatches. Uh, well, the pistons aren't in yet, but they have been confirmed. But the hatches, that was originally a mod, yeah. So mods pretty much um, help notch. Well, mods pretty much help notch. They almost happen to be a tongue twister. But they help notch um, think of new ideas if his creative juices are running a bit low and things like that. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, if you were, well, of course you'd close Minecraft. But if you were to um, add some more uh, mods, you just open this up again. Not since I'm analysing it. And you just press the plus button again and find some more mods. Simple. But yeah, that was all really. Um, tell me what you thought of it. It probably is a little bit winded. I mean, I'm looking at the recording uh, right now, and it's about it's about over 10 minutes at least. It's it's not good. It's not good. But anyway, um, comment. Tell me what you thought about it. Uh, if you liked it, like it. Uh, I, I do need to know um, whether you liked it or whether I didn't help at all, because then it helps me improve for um, more tutorials. Um, also, I'm gonna um, start doing some like um, creative uh, tutorials, so like how to make skins and uh, not just adding skins to your character, but actually making skins and adding them and um, doing some pixel art, well, which will be a fun track, seeing as I am the creative type. Anyways, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you liked it, if you want to talk about it, and if you want to see more. And I'll catch you next time. See you guys. Hey guys, Bozzy here, and um, if you hadn't noticed already, I did speed up that footage by 110%. So if I go for anything a bit too fast, and I do, I do apologise. Uh, that is on me, but I didn't want to uh, make um, the tutorial go fun for too long, so I did speed it up a bit. Hopefully you understand everything. I am going to put a full write-up in the description, so um, you'll be fine. So, okay, see you guys.